Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the Figma Archer figure from, I guess, Fate's Day Night? Is that is that what it is? I think that's what it is. I didn't think to check, but I'm pretty sure that's the series he's from, the particular version of the Fate series. Uh, again, this was sent to me by somebody. Uh, so I haven't watched the anime yet, and I'm not super familiar with the character, uh, but I'm going to have to get into it, because I've been meaning to, and when I took this figure out to do the review, I was like, Dang it, now I want to buy this figure, because it looks awesome. And it also makes me want to watch the anime, so I'm going to have to do that and try to not go broke. But let's look at the figure so you guys can see if you like it. I think you will, though. 15 and a half centimeters, which puts him at just over 6 inches. So nice size to this guy, for sure. And very nice character uh, design. Very nice composition. Looks really cool. Uh, before we look at the figure anymore, though, let's look at the accessories. The first thing we have is the interchangeable face. So we have the stern face and then we have the yelling face with the eyes to the side and as per the norm the Figma eyes look gorgeous. We have some interchangeable hands so we have the pointing two finger hand that's on there now and then we have a fist hand for, that's not the fist hand, a fist hand for either side then we have a sword holding hand for the right side and we have some style pose hands so two for the left, one for the right, and we have another gripping hand here which could be used for holding the sword also for the left hand side, And but this is for holding his giant bow. And if you're curious about how to get the hand in there, this front piece just comes off, and it, t it tells you that in the directions if you're not listening now, but that just pops off. You can put the hand on and then pop this back on, but look how tiny those pegs are, so be really careful. As far as I know, it doesn't come with a string, it doesn't show it in the directions, and the person that sent this to me didn't send a string, so I don't know. It's probably a magic bow if I had to guess based on the, what I know of the show, but it's a cool, big, really big bow. Alright, and then he has some awesome stuff, which I don't know if this is his or if this is Saber's, to be completely honest. I'm going to have to check on that. But he also comes with this, which is looks like the sword and then the sword in the scabbard, maybe, or it's a different version of this, not in the scabbard. That's just a some kind of magic carbon fiber, whatever it is. It looks really good. They lined up all the lines really nicely. It looks awesome. Very, very cool. I thought this was Saber's, but I'm going to have to look that up because he had it in the baggie with this guy. So maybe it's his, maybe it's hers. Either way, it looks really good, and I'll clarify that when I do the review for Saber 2.0. He also comes with the display stage. Uh, he sent a, an extension piece with it, so I'm assuming that came with the figure, and it does come with the standard Figma baggie to keep all your junk in, so that's awesome. Uh, as far as this guy goes, it looks really good. They put shading in the red. They did a great paint job on the black and white parts, then they're shading in the black down here with the different colored gray, and that kind of almost pewter colored boots looks really, really good. Same thing for these little wrist guards. Uh, art articulation for the head is standard Figma articulation, ball peg, ball hinge, standard peg. Fortunately, due to the hair, you can't really move it that much. The neck does have a joint in there, but it also can't move very much. So for the head, you're mostly just going to get a swivel. Not a huge deal, but it is something to note. The upper jacket is all soft material, including the chest, which I didn't even realize at first. They did a great job of hiding that, and I'll show you why they did that in a second, but first let's look at the shoulders. Standard ball peg to connect that, and then we have the ball hinge for the shoulder itself. The jacket won't get in the way at all. We get our bicep swivel out of that also. Single jointed elbow, a little bit better than 90 degrees, looks pretty good though, and then we have a ball hinge for the wrists. This piece is soft, so it won't get in the way of the articulation. For the upper torso, I can just show you what we have. We have a standard, although large, Figma ball hinge. So it pegs into both both ends and then we have the ball hinge there. So you can rotate on either side of that and use the hinge. And because the chest is soft plastic, you can bring it all the way down and he has a really good ab crunch. You can rotate it around, it doesn't get in the way, and it looks good basically however you do it. Super nice design. This piece back here is hard plastic but it doesn't get in the way and it just looks good all the way around. They did a really good job designing this guy. Feels like a single ball peg for the lower torso which I wouldn't uh, be surprised if that's accurate. Then we should have a through a ball peg so going into the torso and then into each uh, leg, each thigh, so we have or a hip, we have a ball socket that the hip moves around on, then we also can rotate around that socket, and we also get a thigh swivel at the top of that uh, strap, so all kinds of leg articulation. This is soft, but it feels like it's gonna 
limit the articulation a little bit. It's not super problematic, but it does bunch up a little bit because it comes down so low over the leg. Not a huge deal, but it is something to note. Single jointed knee, but they did a pretty good job with it for the uh, thicker legs. Looks good normal, the ball or the hinge doesn't stick out too much. Once you bend it, it's a little ugly, but it's not bad, so I'm alright with that. And then for the ankles, we get, what do we have in here? We should have a standard Figma ankle hinge, let's see. Yep, standard Figma ankle hinge. You can rotate that a little bit to get your ankle rocker. This is a soft piece that just kind of floats up there, so that won't get in the way. Super good engineering there. Really glad they did that. So you can bring the foot up a little bit. It still does get in the way, technically, uh, but it won't break or scuff or anything, so I guess that's a plus. Then we also have a toe hinge, which gives him not, not bad looks, but pretty nice range of motion for that, so I'm okay with that. Uh, did we cover everything? Everything except for the cape down here. So this is a soft belt piece. It's not connected at all, but we do have two hinges built into it. It's a little unsightly from underneath, but it works just fine for posing the figure. So you can bring the cape up and around so it looks like it's blowing in the wind, or you can drop it down like that. Works pretty well. I guess it's not great because these two side pieces do tend to pop out to the side a little bit, but having the hinges in there for each of these lower flaps works pretty well, and I think it'll be just fine while I'm posing it. So there it is. I definitely do recommend this guy. It looks really good. I will put him in some poses here at the end so you can see what he looks like in action. But I'm telling you right now, it looks really good. That goes in at an angle. Um, I do recommend it. I don't think he's currently available anywhere, but I could be wrong. I think they reissued him when Saber 2.0 came out, but again, I'm not sure. You can check out Big Bad Toy Store in the link in the description below if you're looking at picking one of these guys up. He might be available there. I do recommend it. He's pretty awesome. Pretty excited to get this guy posed and photographed for you guys. So there it is. Make sure you give this video a like if you did, and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures. Whoa. Let's put his other face on since that just popped off. Uh, that's, what was I saying? Oh, I was saying to subscribe so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.